Our next guest has been involved in an interracial relationship for the past two years. She says she's only ever dated black men, and she doesn't think there's anything wrong with it. Her sister disagrees and wants her to wise up about the type of men she's dating. Please welcome Jessica Worden and Samantha Gossett to the show. Welcome to the show. Now, Jessica, why is your family against you dating outside of uh, your race? They, I just see, don't, they haven't accepted it. They don't try to accept it. They just won't give it a chance. But have they met your boyfriend? Yes. They totally disapprove. Really? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about it, Samantha? I'm really just caught in the middle. My husband gives her a lot of grief about it. I love Jessica, and I just want the best for her. And you guys have a child together, you and your boyfriend, right? Yes, we do. Ooh. So what do you think about the child? I love her little girl. I mean, she's the only niece I got, and I just... Lover. What do you want to happen today, Jessica? You want us to try and change their minds? I mean, wh why are you here? What I want my brother-in-law to learn to accept this is what I choose, and if he loves me and he wants me to be happy, this is how I'm going to be happy. This is what I want. Okay, well, let's meet Jessica's brother-in-law, Joe. Joe, come on out. <laughs> Joe. Now, why do you use the N-word so much? I mean, I, I, need to, I need to understand this, because I read your pre-interview, and it was just flying all over the place. You had no problems just speaking freely. What is a nigger to you? Because maybe that will help me if, if I understand what you think it is. What, what is a nigger to you? Well, someone who don't take care of their obligations in their life and they just they just don't I don't know I mean it's I mean doesn't he Jessica he lets that word fly freely does he not Everything. so then why can't he say why how come you can't tell us what it means now you use it pretty frequently what is your problem with interracial relationships I don't feel like it should be mixed I mean it's even written in the Bible I mean that's in the Bible? I don't think that's in the Bible. Something. I, that's, as a matter of fact, that's definitely not in the Bible. I think that's in people's interpretation of it. Um, you know what? I'm just, I mean, you guys are young, you know what I mean? So to me, I could, as somebody that's a little bit older than you, I might actually look at some of this as they're young, they're being influenced. Is it an embarrassment? You know, are you worried about what other people think? Is this how you really feel? Do you really... Because, I mean, we, we heard it too many times. Well, I, it's not that I don't like black people. I have black friends, but I just don't think we should mix races. Well, if you say that, then obviously you feel like somebody's not good enough for the other person or something. You know, is that something you feel or is it something you worried about what other people think? No, I don't worry about nobody else. I mean, I don't worry about what nobody else thinks about it. I mean, I was, it's just the way I was brought up, I guess. I don't know. All right. Well, Jessica, why don't you talk to Joe and explain to him what it is you want him to understand? You say you want me to be happy and you just want what's best for me. Well, why don't you see this is what I want? This is what I choose. Why can't you just accept it? You know, you know it ain't the it ain't the fact that you date them. I mean, I know I have friends that are black. I mean, I just don't want the way he hurts you and the way he goes out on you and stuff like that. And he don't. He come to my house one day and I had to pick your daughter up. She was laying on the floor screaming, and I picked her up. I asked him why don't he pick her up, and he didn't even lift his hands to pick his own daughter up. You tell me how that made me feel. But what does that have to do with the color of your skin? That's, that sounds like a, a, a guy who got problems being a man. He has male issues. He has man issues. I mean, you see how this is hurting her. It's obvious, okay, suppose that there was a white guy and he was treating her the same way. Does, does the white race get banned because he treats her bad. So how I'm I'm trying to understand how does this everything you just said to her relate to him being black? 
Is that how you think all black men are? Well, I know that ain't. I know that ain't the way all black men are. And you don't consider yourself to be a racist, though. Mm, no, not really. But no, you I do not. But you drove past like a KKK rally and you like took a brochure. You thought maybe you would join. Yeah. Well, that's that's it's... just the place I live. I mean, you see it. Mm -hmm. But you would join the KKK. Because, you know, once you, once you sign up there, you pretty much decided what you are and who you are. That becomes your identity. You no longer be who you are. You ain't Joe no more. You just a KKK member. You understand that, right? I understand you. It's a bunch of following to me. This sounds like a bunch of follow the leader, monkey see, monkey do. I have no, you know, I can't make a decision on my own. This is what I was raised and taught, and so therefore I am. Do you have a comment for me? Stand on up. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You too. You well. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Well, first of all, to the guests, I want to say one thing to him. First of all, uh, a nigga is anyone that's ignorant. Ignorant, that exactly. That could be black, white, pink. <laughs> and second of all, did you say that's your sister? You love your sister? Yes. But you should be more supportive of her, brother. And uh, the, little, the last thing you had said, the little comment you had made about the guy wouldn't pick the baby up off the, uh, the floor, that seemed like it was something personal. That was like she was saying, it could have been a white person, doesn't matter. So you should deal with your issues within yourself. Give your sister some support. She loves you, man. And she's hurting. Mm -hmm. And she wants you to see things as what it is worth. You have black cousins. So, you know, try to check yourself out, look into yourself, look in the mirror, and think what you're saying, and try to give your sister more support. Did you have a, you had a comment for us before as well? Yes, Stand up for me. Well, I happen to know that most little boys look at their father as some kind of hero or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they usually believe everything that they say. Right. So I was just wondering if somewhere along the line your father had some bad experience and he was telling you to stay away from black people or something like that. Anything that make you shy away? I think might have. I don't know. He's so quiet now. Well, I and mean, you seem so quiet and humble, but I know you kick up some dust when you're not around <laughs> us and this whole audience. This is like a whole different story. I just feel it. Stand up for me. You have a comment? Yeah, I just had a comment. I think that some people use race as a scapegoat mm -hmm. when they can't think of anything better to blame. Um, I'm from the South, so San Antonio, and a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of people use, <laughs> I'm from a city that's majorly Hispanic, and in my school there were a series of interracial riots. They so-called blew them up in the news, mm -hmm. and it was all because of some stupid basketball game where you know it was a Mexican and a white guy got in fights, and so it started this whole racial thing. And, racial. Yeah, everyone at school was like afraid to come to school, and it was just like blown up in the media too. But I just thought that, that people used it as a scapegoat. So a bunch of ignorance perpetuates the ignorance. Right. That's <laughs> crazy. Karen, what advice do you have for Joe, Jessica, and Samantha here? Yeah. Well, you know, what Joe is doing is really breaking up a family, Queen, because, I mean, if you love your sister-in-law, you can't do this. She has to do whatever she wants. Would you be happy, really, if she brought home somebody who was white and horrible and mean and, treat, and treated her violently? No. I mean, you're, you keep saying you're not racist, but it's real clear that you're very racist. And you have to rethink it. Well, I'm, willing, I'm willing to give her a Sorry? chance. I'm willing to give her a chance and let her make her own decisions, so it's... Well, good. Do you, do you believe right. it? As long as, long as, as, long as they're going to treat her okay, I, they'll be okay with me. Good. That's exactly what I was saying, because what you'll do is hurt her if you don't go along with this, and you'll hurt them. And they have a good relationship. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And they get along, too, and they love that baby girl. It's a baby girl, right? Yeah. They love that little girl. And you know what it is also? that I find it's really hard. It's, it's probably, you have to put yourself in her shoes for a minute. And I'm sure if you, you can put yourself in his shoes because you, you're from the same neighborhood. But when you put, if you put yourself in her shoes and just think about the difficulty she already has to deal with on the outside with other people making comments and, and talking. You know what I mean? When I was little, I was a tomboy. And it was one thing hearing the boys in the neighborhood say, you a tomboy and having to defend that. But to come home and hear my brother call me that, 
hurt me way more than what any of those guys are outside or girls could say on the street. So you have to think about it like that. You really need to be her support base because she got enough to deal with in the world. So, you know? Well, I, I got, you know, I got to tell you, I'm proud of you, though, for at least opening your mind over the course of this hour. Well, we've had a, an interesting hour sitting here discussing race and racism and love and all that. But they, at the end of the day, to, I just think you should just love each other. Love each other. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. And as long as your racism doesn't affect me getting a job, we all right. See you next time on the Queen Latifah Show.